miezi tatu iliyopita ama miezi ile tulikuwa tu hapa hapa na nitawaambia kwamba kubali hayo maneno tunaambiwa kwa sababu mliona walisema Italy kuna corona kuna wapi na wakatufishia pia hapa sana lakini niliwaambia nikasema atusemi corona haipo passe corona inasakuwa iko lakini haiko kwa ile kiwango au wakora na watapeli wanasema na hiyo maneno nilisema mapema sana miezi tatu iliyopita nikawaambia kwamba hata kama kuna corona ni homa ya kawaida ile watu wanataka wajichunga watu haingekuwa haki wasimamishe mambo mengi katika taifa la Kenya mbona kumbuka kwamba e, mwezi ya kwanza tulijaribu kidogo alafu wakaenda lockdown alafu wakaenda wakalock Nairobi wakalock kule Mombasa wakalock wapi na ile mambo yote nilikataa nikasema ya kwamba ingewasakana wangefanya wangesema to keep distance sanitize wear mask hiyo ni sawa sawa na hiyo hata bado nakubaliana na hii endelee na nikawaambia mtasikia yale yatafuata baada <coughs> ya hii corona na pesa ile tunapewa na wale wasaidizi ama wale e, e, wenye wenye wanatukua wanatupatia msaada ya kawaida kama wenye wanatupatianga pesa ya malaria kama wenye wanatupatianga pesa ya ukimwi kama wenye wanatupatianga pesa ya TB na hizo zingine zote tunajua wanatupatia pesa mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba wazi ya kwamba taifa la Kenya ni taifa inataka kiombe Mungu sana. Ndio unaona nilikataa wakati walisema ati tufunge mpaka tufunge makanisa. Kitu ya kwanza yenye tungetangaza kwa hii corona tungesema ya kwamba tujichunge. Lakini tuendeni kanisa kwa sababu sisi wote tunamwamini Mungu. Na ndio unaona mimi kila siku huwa na kama kuna mtu rafiki yangu mkubwa sana. Sijui sera zake za mambo zingine zote. Lakini mimi nakubaliana na president wa Tanzania Makufuli ule ndio mtu wangu kwa sababu anaelewa ya kwamba wa Kenya ni watu e, wa, wa Afrika ni watu wa dhaifu sana. Afrika ukienda kuchunguza vizuri 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 ndani yake wale wanajiweza wafiki 30%. 70 to 75% ya Waafrika ni watu wa kutafuta chakula kila siku. Ni watu wa kuamka asubuhi wanaenda kibarua wengine wanaenda wanapalilia mahindi ya wengine wengine wanaenda kwa wahindi wala wamenyanyaswa kule we, na mafactory sao industrial area na kila kona na hata huko Eldoret ukienda Nyeri ukienda kila mahali wa Kenya wengi 75 70 to 75% ni watu hawajui watakula nini jioni na hiyo ndio maneno nimekuwa nikisema kila siku na ile shida tuko nayo Kenya hii kubwa ni kuongozwa na watu wenye wajui ukiniliwaambia siku nyingine ya kwamba kaumbia unasikia njaa ama ujekula watakuuliza kama ulikosa wakati ama ni nini ilifanyika hawajui ya kwamba kuna wakenya wana chakula na ndio nikasema hata hiyo lockdown walikuwa nasema wangepatia watu chakula ama watafute namna nyingine yoyote lakini kwa sababu hayo yamepita na ninajua hata kwenda hapa mbele mashule inaenda kufunguliwa na hatujui hao watoto wataenda shule vipi kwa sababu wazazi wengi sana wamekuwa grounded wazazi wengi sana hata leo tukiongea hivi hawajui watanzia wapi na watamalishia wapi na ndio nikawaeleza ya kwamba kuna waizi wakubwa wale wamesoea kuita watoto wa watu waizi kwanza mimi nimefurahi kidogo kwa sababu Mungu wa, Mungu huwa anatenganisha maji na mafuta na imefika wakati kanisa wanataka na waingilie na nguvu sana wajua ya kwamba hii Kenya si ya watu wachache na mimi nilisema kuanzia kitambo nikasema Kenya hii hakuna mtu squatter katika taifa la Kenya. Uwe huko na pointi moja, uwe hauna, wewe ni mkenya huko na kitambulisho ina, inasema Kenya, wewe ni mkenya kama wa Kenya wengine wote. Na ndio nika nikaguzia mambo mingi ya wizi na corruption. Wakati nilisema ya kwamba corruption inaendelea Kenya hii ni corruption ya ukora. Ile wanasema DCI tafuta barasa. DCI tafuta fulani. DCI ta... si watu wanafanya wanafanya e, upelelezi ya haki. Wanafanya upelelezi ya ukumbafu na ujinga yali ya juu katika taifa la Kenya. Na nilipinga kuanzia day one. Hata ile mambo yote ile haro kimwarer nikawasema ya kwamba 
au watu andaa kuwa project ya Aroti Mgarere. Na hiyo maneno yote imekuja imekuja na kwa sababu sisi tunaamini Mungu na wakenya wengi wanaamini Mwenyezi Mungu. Tulisema siku moja ukweli itapatikana. Sasa leo jameni mnajua kwa dunia msima Kenya inaongoza kwa ukora. Mnajua ile maneno inaendelea kule Kemsa. Kule Kemsa watu suppliers unyal supply Kemsa. Mtu ananunua bidhaa ya shilingi elfu mbili. Alafu anaenda anauza shilingi elfu tisa. Kwa inji maskini kama hii. Na ule mkumbafu mungina wa kurisifu pande ile ingine ule wa serikali. Ule MD wa kemsa na watu wa procurement. Tunataka tuwaeleze. Ukweli ni vizuri sana itokese. Na kama vile nilikuwa nimesema hivi majuzi nitasema mpaka niseme majina lakini nilikuja nikaenda nikapata list ni kubwa sana watu wame supply kemsa ni wengi sana unajua hata nilikuwa naona ile maneno inaendelea kule bungeni wale chair wana chair hii maneno ya ya elt na wenye wanafanya kesi kule bungeni nataka niwaambie kwanza wa Kenya sahau hiyo hakuna matokeo itatoka hapo kwa sababu there are the victims ni ni among wenye wamekuwa wakisupply kemsa na ukora na majina tofauti tofauti so msiongoje ati kuna kitu itatoka itato, kuna report itatoka bunge ama itatoka senate forget it kwanza hiyo nataka niahikishie wa Kenya mapema mapema ndio msikuwe na hiyo mawaso ya kudhani ati yo kuna hii kesi inaendelea sasa kule bungeni ita, itapatikana hapana ukiona majina yote na wale watapeli wengi na suppliers na contractors ni wale wako kwa serikali ni wale wanachia yuma mkutano sote munaona inaendelea eh? munaona ile chama mkubwa the chief procurement wa Kemsa mwenye kupiga simu mwenye kuita kagwe kila jioni kwenda kwake ule mkora mkubwa murade anaongea mejaza mandazi kwa mdomo mimi nataka nakishia wa Kenya ni wambie tuombe mungu sana mpaka tupate barabara ingine hii yote inafanyo na sarakazi hii yote unani nasungushwa ni sarakasi na mutuwana ile watu watakuwa sacrifice kwa hii manena kemsa watakuwa ni watu wachake sana ama hata wanesakosa kwa sababu munajua ya kwamba kuna makambuni kuna makambuni sile zinauzika sile zinauzika na wenyewe kama pina nilisema eh, last week na nataka niseme ya kwamba tunajua Ayo makambuni ni ngapi? Unajua makambuni ni supply huko ni mingi sana. Lakini kuna makambuni tutataja chache kama makambuni sita. Yenye tunataka tuambie rais Uhuru Kenyatta mwenyewe mwenye inji. Custodian sio mwenye inji, custodian ya mwenye inji kwa sasa. Mwenye anasimamanga kila siku na kituambia kituleke maneno ya corruption. Na tulimwambia hii corruption yako ni fake. Tunataka tumwambie vizuri sana. Kwa hii tunataka your cousins and your nephews lazima wapie kotini tutatajua ya kwamba unapigana kweli na ufisadi. Na tunataka tumweleze ya kwamba chief procurement officer mkubwa mwenye ana ofisi akupigia kura, akuchaguliwa na mtu mwenye anaitwa Muradhe, mtu wako. Tunataka tumuone pia kotini ndio tujue hii Kenya kweli ni ya haki. Kwa sababu tuko na fax, tunaongojea kwa sababu makampuni ime supply huko ni mingi sana. So hatuwezi taja majina moja kwa moja mpaka tule yetu tunaongoja ile watatupatia baada ya tarehe na moja ni gani na gani na ni na nani wanastakiwa Wakenya wengi wanashangaa sana Na nataka niambie wakenya leo Ministry of Health na, na documents zimechelewa tu kidogo nilikuwa nilikuwa natoka na Nairobi ijefika Ministry of Health wamekuwa waki supply hewa kwa miaka mingi na ndio mimi naomba Mungu serikali nyingine ibadilike ndio tulete hiyo maneno. Na ni same same people, same same companies. Ile ulikuwa mnaona wana supply container. Container inaushwa 1200 unasikia inauzwa milioni sijui kumi na ngapi. Wamekula pesa ya malaria. Wamekula pesa ya TB. Wanakula pesa ya ukimu. Sasa wamekuja wamekula pesa ya corona. Wanafi kwa kubwa na ni wale wanaita watoto wa watu waizi. Ni vizuri sana Sijui ni nani mwenye ame replace William Ruto kwa sababu kila siku wanasemanga William Ruto ni anaiba. Sasa sijaelewa nataka niulize uhuru sasa wewe ndio umereplace William Ruto ama ni nini hii inaendelea kwa hiyo hizi hii kwa sababu kila siku wanasema William Ruto 
yumo mfisadi. Na maajabu moja kwa rafiki yangu Raila Odinga. Hata kama ulipata nafasi ya kuteka advantage kwa hii serikali. Yenye mimi sikulaumu na nilisema kuanzia pale awali ya kwamba mtu yeyote ukiwa kwa baridi na upate nafasi unateka advantage. Mimi nachangaa tu Raila amenyamaza na imefika mahali alituambia last week na ule mtu wake ule secretary general wake ule ni msiwa kwa chama ya ODM. Yenye mimi nijakuwa Raila ningefukuza yeye kama juzi ule sifuna. Anakuja kutuambia ati audit ifanywe. Na ile siku nyingine alikuwa anasimama anasema ati e, jubilee ni waisi. Hiyo siku nyingine wanatuambia William Ruto ni sasa ndio tu waulize. Kwa hii maneno ya pesa ya wagonjwa wa Kenya wenye wajiwezi wenye maski wanajinunulia wenye kila kitu wanajinunulia. Sisi tunataka tuulize. Nilisikia jana wakiongea kuhusu ile bidhaa Jackman alitupatia. Na nikasikia wakisema ya kwamba ati serikali ili receive singine, singine. Kwanza atutaki ni nani ali receive. Tunataka mtuambie hiyo ya Jackman ni nani alipata. Mlipeana wapi? Mlisupply wapi? Na mimi nataka niambie nyinyi na msikie na nilisema last time. Ila Jackman ilienda inji zingine. Na bado tutawaambia. Ilikuja tena ikapakejiwa vizuri, ikapangwa, ikasukumwa. Ikaenda kwingine. Kwa sababu hawa nafik walikuwa wanajua hii corona ni fake. Kila mtu siku ishi akikufa wanaenda wanapima hapo wanasema ni corona kwa sababu wanataka namba asishuti ile juu kustua wa Kenya. Wanapima watu 200 ama 100 kwa sababu mimi nasikia tu wanapima watu wanasikia hiyo wale wanapima wanashuti hiyo namba. Sasa kwa sababu juzi walishikwa na maneno ya wizi unaona namba imeanza kuteremka na namba itateremka kabisa. Hakuna hii corona kama iko ni kidogo. Sio kama vile hao wanasema kwa sababu wizi inaendelea ni kubwa sana. Na lakini niliambia nyinyi na nikasema hivi. Kama unakula mpaka unakula pesa ya mgonjwa ya maiti. Na mnasema nyinyi mnaongoza inji. Mtakulwa pia nyinyi na kitu inaitwa sijui. Hayo nilisema. Kwa sababu hata mimi siwezi kukubali kupigia mtu makofi ama kusikia ati unaletewa dawa ya kukula, pe, kukula pesa ya mtu wa mgonjwa. Ati pesa tumepewa kama ka, kama kama serikali ya kusaidia wagonjwa watu wanajinulia maski watu wanaenda hospitali atu unadanganya watu umeshikwa na corona na una symptoms yote unalipia wale wengine wote wenye wako hospitali hii wanaenda wanapima mtu tu kwani atakuwa na wagonjwa wagonjwa kuanzia zamani kwani watu wako wanakufa kila mtu siku hizi akikufa corona kila mtu akikuwa mgonjwa corona hiyo ni utapeli na ukora inyiko Kenya hii kubwa sana na ndio tumesema hivi kwa hii kwa hii ya uh, uh, inaendelea sasa hii kwa hii SCC kama kambuni inaitwa Siwala Limited haitakuwa kwa hiyo msistake mtu Kama kambuni inaitwa Bell Limited haitakuwa hiyo msistake mtu Kama kambuni inaitwa Olbis haitakuwa msistake mtu Wacha wa Kenya wote waibu wa kwa ikwe kwa sababu hatuwezi kubali waizi wengine na wengine wapelekwe kando Na kama watastakiwa wastakiwe wote lakini swali yangu ni hii. Hata mkistaka hawa. Mnaweza kuwa mwana astaki mpange tu mchese PR. Hii pesa nani atarudisha? Kwa sababu tunajua mpaka kwa manyumba ni imeingia. Huyu mradha akiongoza. Nani atarudisha hii pesa? Hii ndio swali yetu. Ndio mimi nataka niseme wa Kenya muombe Mungu sana. Muombe Mungu usiku na mchana ili bado watuoneshe hawa tapeli na waizi wenye wamefalia ngosi ya kondoo na kumba hawa ni umbwa mwitu wakora wakubwa wenye kutaja majina ya watu ilikuwa nasikia eh, 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 watu wengi wakiongea kuhusu eh, eh, kemsa mimi nataka ni mwambie huyo MD wa kemsa kwanza wewe unafaa kujipeleka wewe mwenyewe uende ujifungie korokoro kwa sababu wewe ni mjinga ya mwisho unaweza kujaje kwambia wa Kenya nilipigie simu ile si juni ilifanywa nini wewe ulikuwa unapigia simu au ujui procedure na procedure procurement ulikuwa unapigia simu si juni na CS huyo CS anatukujanga anatuambia kiingereza mingi na Kiswahili mingi na mtu mtu bure kabisa yeye ndio mtapeli mkubwa wanakuja wanatulekia kila siku breaking news oh mimi nataka niambie huyo huyo MD shame on you ni sawa umesema lakini shame on you Unakuja unatuambia baada ya kupata hasara kubwa katika taifa la Kenya. 
lakini nilipigia simu na PS wewe mbona ukwacha kazi na let me tell you my friend you will be sacrificed wewe ndio utatolewa kotini kwanza namba 1 na hiyo ujinga yako yote hiyo unakuja unajifanya sasa tu unasema unasema nini na mmesha kula pesa ndio nipatie eh, rafiki yangu Didmas nataka pia niongezee ya kwamba niambie uhuru Kenyatta kama ujui labda sisi zingine ujui kitu kingine wacha mimi nikusaidie sasa watapeli uko naye wakubwa wenye anaharibu inji hii wakiongozwa na Morade wakifuatwa na mtu anaitwa Nje chungusa vizuri wakifuatwa na mtu anaitwa Ogeto huyo Ogeto kasi yake apia insalasta central wa Kenya kasi yake ni kuambiwa andika barua hii left right and center na wenye anawaambia ni hawa watu wako hawa tu huyo mwingine anaitwa George Karioki Ogeto na Nje na Morade na Waita chunguza hawa watu wako kwanza wewe rais na utapata sababu na kwambia uchunguza hao kwa nini kuna kambuni walipeana wakati walifuruga kaunti ya Nairobi wakapeleka wakapeana kambuni ya kuja kulipisha e, ushuru ya kuja kuchukua e, wakati walifukusa ile jambo pay mimi nataka utafute na utume mtu wako na ufanye investigation yako sababu mimi nataka nikusaidie kwa sababu nimegundua ni kama kuna vitu vingi vya ujui kuna kuna kambuni inaitwa na feta tafuta hiyo kambuni ilikuwa inachukua pesa hapo awali yenye inadai sasa hii milioni 800 inadai 800 million sasa hii inawajalipwa kwa sababu sasa walikuja sasa wakati wakati mulilete ule mwanajeshi huyo mwanajeshi sasa hata utaona hata furugo na wako yako kwa sababu kuna vile wanacheza game hapo na kama kuna watu wamefuruga kaunti ya Nairobi na wamefuruga Kenya ni hao watu watano nimekwambia uru Kenyata na ufanye uchunguzi yako Angalia mtu anaitwa Nje Muturi. Angalia mtu anaitwa Ogeto Salesta General. Anaandika mabarua left, right and center. Angalia mtu anaitwa Karioki. George Karioki. Na uangalie chama wao mkubwa akiwa ni Morade. Na uangalie Waita. Najua Waita umemfukusa kidogo lakini chungusa vizuri. Hao ndio wamefuruga hata ile corruption ya kwanza yote wakisema ule amekula hii kwa sababu walikuwa na interest kila mahali. Na ukitaka fax fanya kitu inaitwa private investigation behind them you will get everything uenda hata ujui vitu zingine tunakulaumu tu hapa lakini kwa sababu wewe naye ulikubali kukuwa mgaidi mkubwa au sikii wa jumba yako au sikii senators wako au sikii watu wako tunataka tukueleze my friend utabeba mzigo yako we mwenyewe lakini watapeli na wakora wakubwa ni wao nimekupatia leo ya mwisho nilisikia mradi akiongea kuhusu maneno atwa kwa Twake dam inajulikana vizuri sana. Hakuna hata mtoto mdogo anajua Twake dam ilikuwa nani ndio broker. Murade ndiye alikuwa broker wa Twake dam. Na tunataka ifike siku yenye Murade nataka tena jitokese kwa TV. Na kuja atuambie kama kuchukua pesa kutoka kwa ile kambuni inajiita Jesuba kama kuchukua 800 million kwa hao watu kwa sababu hao watu mwenyewe tuko na direct contact na wametueleza kina kaubaka tunataka ajitokeze kama kuchukua 800 million mradi alikuwa broke na mnajua vizuri sana katika taifa la Kenya kwamba kuna siku mradi alikuwa amekuwa bankrupt leo anatuambia maneno mengi sijui maneno anatawanga wapi ile magari yote amenunua hiyo vitu yote mkifuatilia kama nyinyi ni wa pelelezi ya ukweli mtaangalia pesa ilitoka kwa hiyo kambuni ya China hata hiyo magari zote alinunua 2 e, three years ago hiyo pesa yote naona anatupigia kelele sasa hii nyingine amejaza kama maandazi kwa mdomo yake hii ya hii ya Kemsa kwa sababu ndio upate contract lazima uende upige magoti kwa, kwa mradi sijui hii power alitoa wapi alafu huru Kenyata unasema ati wili mtu akae kando anataka legacy alafu unalete mtu mjinga akupigie kura ana sababu yoyote kuongea kuhusu uhuru Kenyata eh yeye ndiye anakuwa lecture na tulepcha hapa left right and center. Tunataka tuseme kwamba sisi kama viongozi wa jubilee kwa sababu bado hatujitoka jubilee. Tunataka tukwambie mheshimiwa rais hii mambo yote ya Kemsa fuatilia kwa utaratibu lakini cousin na nephews wasikose kwenda kotini. Ndio tujue kweli tunapigana na usadi wa Kenya. Kama kuna maswali mtauliza baadaye acha ni pera yangu aendelee. <coughs> Thank you very much my friend Oscar Sudi. I just want to add uh, four more companies. 
to the list that my friend Oscar Sudi has already given me. The first one is a company called uh, Medlife Biological Limited. Second company is called Light Up Africa Limited, Nanopay Limited, and Shop and Buy Limited. I want you members of the fourth estate to go and find out who are directors of this company. After finding out the names of the directors of these companies, go further in government. Who are their relatives in government? DPP Nurdin Haji has set a precedent. Some of the allegations that Aisha Juma is facing is because that his relatives won't tend us in CDF in Kilifi. All these people were in court. I therefore want to, to challenge the authorities that are charged the responsibility of in, in investigating crime in this country to also go after the relatives of the direct directors of the companies that I've just mentioned here. And I want uh, senior government officials that are, uh, including my friend Oscar Sudi, I told Oscar Sudi not to take this brother very, very seriously because this is a man uh, who drinks and smokes things that uh, are prohibited. He smokes prohibited stuff. So when you see him talking, I saw him on TV a few days ago, but if you look at his eyes, you don't even have to Google to find out what Murade may have smoked or drunk by the time he was making those allegations on TV. So it's a fellow that I don't take him serious. This is a criminal. And because we know that the police will never arrest Murade, I want to ask Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Kenyans have got the powers under the constitution of Kenya to arrest anybody that they suspect may have committed a crime or is preparing to commit a crime and uh, take him to a police station. I want to call upon Kenyans who are in Malindi and Kilifi where I know Mrade is hiding, that they should arrest him and uh, deliver him to the nearest police station. I have already made an entry in the OB in the Eldred police station that he is told uh, he colluded among other many things to make Kenyans lose millions of things through Kemsa so the report already is there. So the Kenyans, wherever you are, when you see him, stop him, arrest him, take him to the nearest police station. Two, the fact that uh, we have people who have been suspended at Kemsa tells it all that money was lost. So if money was lost, why is DPP taking time why is the DCI taking time to conclude their files? Today, where we are here, if a poor man, a matatu tout, goes to the police station and makes an allegation against his or her fellow poor Kenyan, the police will arrest that person the next day and take that person to court. The CEO for Kemsa did confirm, and we've seen even email addresses. We've seen email conversations written by the chairman of Kemsa, the uh, Honorable uh, Kembi Ketura, authorizing intimidating the CEO to sign the contract for specific people. Which other evidence are the police looking for? But I want to at least appreciate what Nurdin Haji has done for the shortest period that he has been in office. We have seen convictions. We have seen people taken to court. This makes the rest of this country wonder. The buffoon by the name uh, Keriako Tobiko, mm -hmm. what that man was doing <coughs> in his office. The man could not even prosecute a fly. The man was part of the cartel of the criminal gangs in this country that instead of him aiding the accused persons get justice, he was aiding, he was purported to have been aiding the criminals evade justice. I saw him recently lecturing us who are having meetings. Please, 
even even uh, even uh, concentrate on planting trees because when you are a minister, the CS for environment, your only role is planting. We have only seen him planting trees and nothing else. You know. So you want to tell Kirago Tobiko that when you open your mouth to lecture Kenyans on anything, this country bleeds. You are no longer a role model. Mm -hmm. You could not prosecute anybody when you are in charge of uh, when you are in charge of uh, uh, you know the uh, public prosecutions. Nurdin Haji never came from the heaven. He came from this country. He is our son. So what is it that uh, Nurdin Haji is doing that Kiriako Tobiko was unable to do? So Kiriako Tobiko swallowed the pride, smelled the coffee, shut up and keep quiet. Because you know whom you speak for and you fail uh, this country. I also want to say this. This country, our constitution has been subverted. Our constitution has been thrown in the dustbin. We have independent entities, including KEMSA, and the competent Kenyans have been hired to preside over the functions and the roles of this institution. We have people who are usurping the powers of the head of public service. People like Imrade, he has appointed himself to be the supervisor of public service. He is hovering from one office to the other, threatening civil servants, mm -hmm. directing civil servants mm -hmm. who are competent enough. So we have thrown various regulations, various acts of parliament, and the constitution itself that it provides a framework on how institutions are managed, how procurement procedures are implemented and executed. Now they are getting phone calls, intimidating them. We would want to see Kenyans lose their job, being demoted, being transferred on the basis of incompetence, mm -hmm. not on the basis of failure to comply with the illegal directive issued by somebody smoking bang, drinking uh, alcohol from a slave queen's house. This is what Murada is doing. Mm. <laughs> he has slave queens in uh, Mombasa, Uko. Nyumba, I'm told in every town he has a slave queen. Anagawa kwa slave queen yapo kwa boma, anakunya pombe yake hapo, na bangi yake anafuta hapo, anachukua simu, anapigia CEO ya Kemsa, patia mtu flani kukandarasi, patia huyu kandarasi. And I think Kenya we do not need even a new constitution to, to, to streamline the operations of government. What this country needs is a man and a woman who will rough up all these corridor employees, who will rough up all these conmen, calling themselves deep state and intimidating civil servants, bundle them into a police car and take them into, into, into prison. That is the medicine that will save this country. Awa kuna wa Kenya wengi ambao wamehangaishwa na hawa tuna hawa kora. Kaka wametisha. Lakini mimi na Oscar Sutton wajeshi si watu ya kiwanja. Sisi we are vijana tu wale wametoka kule. Watu wakisema tutakamata sisi we don't fear because sisi tu wetu sisi tumeishi maisha kwetu unaishi maisha kama ya jela. Hata jela iko afadhali. Tumezaliwa tumeishi kwa boma ambayo kupata chakula mara moja kwa siku ni shida. Lakini tunaambiwa huko jela huko prison chakula breakfast asubuhi mnaletewa tunaambiwa lunch wanaleta hata kama ni maragwe ni chakula lunch pia sapa wanaleta huko kwa hivyo tunaambia hao watishe matajiri lakini sisi watu maskini kama mimi na Oscar Sudi wale watu tumetoka msituni huko sisi hatuna shida wakitaka watu bandiki watu peleke suji wapi eh, wacha watu peleke lakini lazima tuseme ukweli tuseme ukweli and we are going to engineer the revolution in this country i know mtai kagwe you are CS who been mentioned and you have said you are not going to resign Please, we are coming for you as Kenyans. We are coming to evict you forcefully from that office. Please, move with the speed. Salvage anything that you can, including portraits of your wives and families from the, that you put in your office. Because Kenyans, we are coming for you. We will remove you from that particular office expeditiously. That is what we are going to do as this country, and we must stand up. We are going to rally Kenyans of goodwill to say no to mismanagement of public resources. We are going to rally the citizens of this country into arresting all these criminals who have been siphoning money from public coffers, who have been 
uh, engaging in a lot of criminalities with impunity. And when they talk, they talk as if they own government. And I want to tell them that uh, Kenyans will have an opportunity in 2022 to change this government so that we can also uh, advance the gains that have so far been reversed by these criminal gangs who, by not following the constitution. We must now look for a new government in 2022, a government that will take Kenya back in the sense that Kenya can begin to enjoy the gains of our new constitution. Because we are speaking now, the new constitution has been thrown away. We are not following it. We are following the directives of criminal gangs called David Murade, whom I'm sorry to have engaged because from my community we don't engage those kind of people. Mm -hmm. But when I'm going home, I think they were have to slaughter a black sheep because I've engaged a person, <laughs> uh, a stupid man whom uh, my culture uh, doesn't allow me to engage. A person who drinks and smokes and abdicates his duties, I'm told he's a man of no doing in his own house. So if you are a man of no doing, uh, if, uh, I'm told that uh, the people who work on his fence, they also assist him on those other sectors. So those kind of fellas, as we don't engage them from our community. <laughs> and um, when I go home, I think they were just uh, going to, to summon me, which I will heed the advice, but I will purchase a black goat, which they will slaughter for engaging a person of no doing, a person who abdicates his bedroom duties and is being assisted to do so by the, uh, you know, the hustlers who are working. But the hustlers are good because they're also assisting him. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I'm told even, uh, you know, this man who's, uh, he has big problems. You know, this is a man who's, uh, we, should, uh, we should create a law that uh, maybe recognizes all those fellas. You know, 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 Unajua hiko mungu vile aliumba vile ndakana ile maneno ngine yafanya. Lakini yeye nasikia hiyo maneno uh, sujii vidole, sujii nini. Hiyo maneno ngine hiyo nasikia sujii. I think salute. Transforma na ambiwa motu wa hiti. Tisa na tumia tiki dole, sujii mikono, sujii nini. Kwa hiyo ni mutu bure. Mutu yule ndo kama kibaga ngekua kesema hiyo ni mutu ya kutuangu wa makofi. Mutu yule. You have said Murade was using his phone call. And you have mentioned some of the company. Maybe can you have names of the directors of the yeah, they are there you can google and you can i have given you and from here i can give you the certificate of registration of those companies i will give you communication from the register of companies so that you see yourself because some of those names are, are names of uh, very small people uh, that as a member of parliament i don't even have i, don't, I, will, I, I will be giving them unnecessary publicity because I'm concerned because they are relatives of the big people in government. So I don't also want you to, I also want you to work hard as a, as a, as a, as a journalist. I will give you the communication of the register of companies so that when you will be airing news now, you can confirm the names. And these are very common names. You know, like if you come to my constituents and you say Barasa, Barasa is a well-known, uh, is a household name. You know, Barasa is from Bitmas, I guess, Barasa. So all those names uh, are names that people are aware of, that the Kenyans know, and because uh, the only mouthpiece that could have spoken on behalf of Kenyans is the voice of Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. who is the, in the, 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 the captain of a minority party. But the problem is that uh, Raila Odinga and his cabal, they understand table manners. Table manners informs me that when you are eating, you it don't is. talk. <laughs> you cannot eat and they speak at the same time. So now we understand he has kept quiet because he's eating. <laughs> but maybe after he has finished eating, now he can begin to talk because you cannot engage uh, your oesophagus and the air pipe at the same time. Only robots can do that. So we, we want Kenyans to at least uh, forgive uh, Raila Odinga and that uh, he's just uh, following uh, table manners of not talking while eating at the same time. Now, <laughs> now Mr. Okay, in uh, several occasions, uh, that uh, we, for, apart from uh, Mr. Mwakali's particular, you always see me accusing the government, telling the government of the wrongdoing. Where are the other entities from this region? Do you, tell, do you want to tell us uh, that it belongs to the, to, the, to the other side of the project? Cheng. Major Cheng, you can be a CSI, you can be a CSI. Yes, yes, sir. 
kila mtu ako na kazi yake sasa mbs kuna kazi wanafanya kila mtu ako na mpango yake na kila mtu ana duty yake ya kufanya so ukisema ati unatuona watu wachache na pia watu wengi ni waoga lakini umesikia sisi na baraza we can demonstrate even for a month we can walk we can just walk na twende pale prison that's why ni lazima tuambie wa Kenya ukweli wale wengine ni ukweli kuwa mnatumia haya maneno ya kemsa yes. kama wandani wa naibu wa rais yes. so that uh, munafanya your own investigation yes. then you reveal the names or you name the individuals amba, uh, behind the scandal yes. uh, so that you might have the sympathy of the public ili mu, 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 mu nini muangushe referenda menye nakuja ndugu yangu mimi sijui una sijui kwanza kwanza usitumie undani wa naibu wa rais sisi wengine tulipita hayo maneno kwa sababu hata naibu wa rais akienda kombo na mambo zingine nitamwambie off sisi hapana hiyo sisi hapana ODM sisi hapana kwanza wale unajua kuna ugonjwa unaona inaendelea na kasumba which is chronic kwa ODM toa kwanza maneno ya undani wa naibu wa rais na ya pili nataka nikujibu ya kwamba unless kama wewe unaishi kwenye nyingine tofauti lakini inakuwa uko ile wa Kenya hawana chakula Referendum inaongelewa at 2 billion. Kwa hiyo maana 2 billion. Na of course unajua ya kwamba itapita 2 billion. Itaenda mpaka 10 billion. Kusungusha wa Kenya na kufanya marale hii Kenya hii ati oh referendum. Unaambia referendum mtu wako kama mimi mwenyewe wacha ati referendum. Mimi ninasakataa lami ijengwe lakini wa Kenya kwanza wapate chakula. Kwa sababu nilisema hivi. Mnasafanya maendeleo kubwa kubwa mjengea watu lami watu talama lami. The first thing you have to do ni kusota out maneno ya watu wapate tumbo ishibe. Watoto wao waende shule watoto wao waende hospitali ni watoto wangu wanaenda that's the first basic those are three basic, basic things tunataka na tuanze naye sasa wao umeenda mbali sana sasa hii maneno ya referendum unless kuna mkenya ako na kasoro hii katiba hatujaweza kuitegemea nyetu tuko naye kwa sasa kama hawezi own order yenye natoka kotini nini nyingine wanasanini kwa hii katiba kama wanaweza kushika mtu na wasungushe mtu sijui ujinga ya mwisho na ndio mimi nilisema hivi Mungu ni mkubwa sana. Akuwezesha William Ruto akisupport Uhuru Kenyatta tu tu wapate serikali. Wa Uhuru Kenyatta angepata hii serikali wakati katiba inge wabadilishwa, ainge wai badilishwa. Tungeishi kwa dictatorship ile hatari. Sasa wewe unaona maneno mengine ikifanyika ni mapenzi ya Mungu, sio mapenzi ya binadamu. Atupingi referendum kwa sababu tunataka siasa. Na penye tunaelekea katika taifa la Kenya Tunaomba Mungu sana atupatie kiongozi ule anaelewa shida ya mkenya na ule anasikiza. Mwenye anasakaa chini na mtu kama wewe, journalist, na kuulisa maoni yako na pick maoni yako hata ukitwiti kitu yote. Atutaki watu wako na kiburi. Watu wakubwa they think they are next to God. Unajua kuna watu wako na pesa Kenya hii mpaka hata wajui kuna watu wanalala njaa wanafanya nini. But they think they are next to God. Wao baada ya Mungu ni wao. Nyinyi wengine wote mnataka na mkuu slaves. Mpige magoti na mfuate ile kitu anasema. Na wacha nikwambie kama wale wengine wote walipigania uhuru ya Kenya hii na hawakupata. Sisi wachache kwa sababu tunaongo tuna, tunapigania uhuru na tukiomba Mungu. Tutapata uhuru. Siku ile mkenya hata kwa anauliza atakula nini anaamka asubuhi kwenda akitoka penye uh, anafanya kazi anapiga kwa market na nongo moja anafanya nini? Mtoto wake anasoma shule nye, uh, watoto wa Oscar Sudu anasoma. Mtoto wake anaenda hospitali si, nye mimi watoto wangu wanaenda. Hapo ndio tutaelewana tuseme hii Kenya sasa imekuwa iko. Ile nyingine sasa ni bidii yako kujenga korofa kutaka kutembea na Range Rover kufanya nini hiyo ni hiyo ni bidii yako that's why niliomba nikasema mimi kama ningekuwa na uwezo ningeomba mtu kama Uhuru Kenya anipe hii serikali for 6 months aone kwanza nitoe nita scrap kwanza hii maneno ya barabara kwanza nitaka kazi mimi nikuwe deputy president ndio kuya kuwe deputy president uone wa Kenya wote kwanza tuwalete level moja eh ndio sasa tuanze kuongea hizi vitu zingine lakini saa hii mtu mmoja anafanya sekta ya biashara ya kuuza maziwa yeye peke yake katika Kenya hii Masiwa inanunuliwa na shilingi 30 ama shilingi 25 na inauzwa supermarket wewe wewe umenuliza hiyo swali enda ununue maziwa ama unajua bei ya maziwa supermarket inauza maziwa shilingi moja na kumi. enda kwa ile kitunguri eh, ne, sako ama ni nini enda dairies enda enda hapa elret watu wana mtu anakuuza ngombe chakula inafika 25 shillings ama 27 shillings alafu unaenda unaulia maziwa na 27 euro 3 na wewe mwenyewe umetoa kwanza cream 
ndani ya hiyo maziwa alafu unauza 110 we are so stupid kenyans sisi ni wakumbafu ya mwisho ukienda sekta ya fedha ni wao ukienda mashamba kubwa ni wao ukienda nini ni wao and they like us ati huo wa hizi pandemic pandemic ni nyinyi you are the pandemic tusienda hapo ndo yangu ni swali lingine swali hizi nilikuwa nimesahau na hii ni ya muhimu sana wa Kenya wasikie unasikia saa hii sasa covid namba zilikuwa za kufanya biashara ndio wale kina murade waendelee kupora kemsa na kwa vile saa hii covid imekwisha mimi nataka rais uhuru kenyata ile pesa yote ambayo alikuwa amepokea kutoka kwa wafadhili ile pesa yote sanywe alafu i wave shule zikifunguliwa januari hakuna kulipa fees serikali yote garamie fees ya wakenya wote ilikuwa inalipa half mpaka hata body serikali igaramie kwa mwaka mmoja kwa sababu kama chuo kama mtu anachukua tu miezi mbili watu kama kumi after two months wamekuwa covid millionaires tani hii serikali ni casino yenye unaingia na gunia unatoka na pesa ama ni serikali ina gani do are we being led by a casino or a government we are some can just enter a government today you register a company a week ago then you become a millionaire so it means this is a very rich country and i want to ask huru kenyata kama hana pesa ya ku support masomo kwa mwaka mmoja ndio wa Kenya wasihangaike na watoto yao kukaa nyumbani hata ile express railway ambayo wanajenga kutoka airport sijui mpaka Westlands pia hiyo iachishwe wasisonge mbele kabisa so that we have Kenya eh tutafumbia kwa jamu hakuna shida hata tukikaa kwa jamu kama hata two days no problem lakini mtoto wa mama maskini mama muzamboka kwa barabara ambaye biashara zake zimeharibiwa na covid na anatarajiwa alipe fees ya first term. Hatutaki wa Kenya wakumbafu wa kuwa Kenya wengi kabisa kwa sababu wa Kenya wenyewe hawajakuwa wakisoma. Wale wa matajiri ndio walikuwa wanasoma online. Sasa hawa wakifungua tena shule alafu wafukuzwe wakae nyumbani kwa sababu hawakosa karo ya shule. Na hiyo ndiyo walimu watafanya. Nimesikia juzi waziri wa, wa elimu aliwatumia pesa alafu akafute karudi kwa kwa, kwa government uh, coffers. Kwa hivyo shule pia iko na matatizo na tunataka sasa mwaka ikifunguliwa na tunaomba Raila Odinga asaidie hataki kusaidia maneno ile ingine na ama madhambi zake zitaongezeka kifia kule mbinguni baada kuna dhambi nyingi na yeye karibu miaka imesonga unajua hiyo sijui atumbie maswali na jibu na mnakana kwa mbele kwa Mungu huko ako na majukumu kubwa ya kutetea wakenya ambao walimweka kwa nafasi ambao walijitolea wakufe ili wahangaishe serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta ndio waite yeye wasalimie yeye wa sasa hapo kwa serikali sasa hata kama hata kama ni mfupa tabakisha kidogo wa Kenya wakule hiyo ni sawa lakini asiache wanafunzi tena wafukuzwe shule eti kwa sababu e, ya karo ya shule hizi kama wajumbe tutatua CDF lakini serikali lazima itoe pesa nyingi zaidi ile ambayo itafanya masomo yote kwa ya free na atoe executive order kwamba principal yoyote ambaye atafukuza mtoto atisiji pesa ya lunch Siji pesa ya nini ule principal afutwe kazi mara moja aende wakae huko na bwana mradhe watu ya kutembea kwa barabara huko ya kufanya biashara hapo ya conmanship kwa barabara huko na kuandaa eh, wafanyi biashara na kukula pesa yao kwamba watawatafia tenda za serikali Mheshimiwa so yangu ya mwisho Mhm bado huko na maneno Lakini yeye uhusiani na Kemsa na mm. the, the scandal mm. uh, wiki jana ulikutana na MCS kutoka LG Marquette wasingishu na nani mm. And recently tuliona Lee Njiru alienda kukutana na mnaibu wa rais. Mm. Kulingana na uhusiano wakati wa senator wa Baringo na Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh, does it mean that you are out to lock Gideon Moi out of Rift Valley ahead of 2022? Ndugu ndugu unajua kuna maswali mengine. That's why nilisema na niliomba naibu wa rais nikasema kama candidate wao atakuwa ni Gideon Moi kama candidate ya deep state atakuwa ni Gideon Moi. Nimeomba William Ruto na kumwambia mimi nikiwa naye ni kama ako naye. Aniwachie nishindana na Gideon Moi. Atumudharau. Gideon Moi ni among wale watu waelewi kabisa mnasema shida ni nini. Aiko kwa ya nini kwa hesabu yao yoyote. Na kukutana na MCS ndugu yangu 
nafikiri ni kujitolea walikuja hapa nyumbani wakakula chakula hakuna kitu niliwapatia hawa ni viongozi wenzangu na ni viongozi wa hapa nyumbani kama kuna nyasi walikanyaga ni wewe umekanyaga kama kuna chakula walikula ni mimi na bibi yangu nilipika kama kuna wakati niliongea hapo na microphone tuliongea maneno yetu ya nyumbani haimaanishi hata tunataka tulok mtu yote mimi nilisema hivi tunataka siasa ya Kenya ifike kwa kiwango kingine that's why nilileta watu wa Kisumu tukaongea nao hapa tunataka siasa ya Kenya ifike mali William Ruto akienda Kisumu atalakiwa Kisumu na aseme sera zake Raila Odinga akikuja Eldred anipigie mimi sudi mimi ni rafiki yake nitamtengenezea hali akuja aseme sera zake hiyo ndio unaona kwanza toka kwa hiyo siasa ya samani sasa wewe au ushindeni kitu na mtu mwingine anasunguka hapa atendaka governor ya wasingishu mimi wa kikuyu usiku ati henge nge 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 oh ruto kibale mimi nataka niseme hivi kama kuna kitu atutaki kuongea na kurudi nyuma kuuzu ni kuongea kuuzu kitu inaitwa amani katika taifa la Kenya aswa wasingishu na bonde la uko sisi tuko kipawa mbele that's why ukuja hapa kwangu niko na wajaluo anafanya kazi hapa niko na kila mtu anafanya kazi hapa siku ile tutatoa kasumba na ujinga ya sisi kama viongozi atunachochea mkikuyu hapa unachochea mkalenji hapa unawaonda una nini yo maneno ilipitwa na wakati samani sana kila mtu aweke zaira zake kwa mesa tutembe eh? so hiyo maneno ya kusema atukulok mtu usiju kufanya nini sasa mimi niliuliza tu swali moja mtu kama kidini moja uko na pesa yote ya baba yako uko na kila kitu ya you cannot even move from point A to point B eh? kama kidini moja ngikoni mtu wako na akili na nataka kuongoza inji wakati baba yake alikuwa anaongoza inji angefanya irrigation angekuwa amelock Baringo county aseme baba yangu anafanya kazi ya ile Kenya nyingine yote wacha mimi nifanye ya Baringo county ni hata niwapatie maji niwapatie nini angekuwa na pale pa kustart kuanza kama kiongozi lakini ule mtu ni mtu ya ya, ya white ni mtu ya starehe wewe sio mwanajua unaona wanajichunganga sana wa matuta matajiri hata limo yani my friend tuko kwa Kenya tofauti sana hii Kenya ni that's what tumesema tunataka leo tuweke kando maneno ya dynasty na assolance yani kututenganishe maji na mafuta kwanza ili tuone hii Kenya kama watu wengine watatembea kwa sababu wewe umekuja umechomwa jua unakuja kama wewe ungekuwa na akili kidogo na kuna pesa na pano na pano mimi singe singe kubaliana na wewe kama uko na Saidi ya mwaka salezini bado unafanya kasi ya hii ya kukuja kusikiza sudi wewe sasa ungewaachia wale wametoka university sasa wafanye wewe ungekuwa umesonga umefanya biashara nyingine kama Kenya ingekuwa Kenya inajali watu wote lakini sasa wewe utafanya hii kazi ya journalist mpaka nywele kwenye upe kwa sababu ya ujinga yenye tuko nayo Kenya hii hapo umesema bomu sir kutoka kutoka swali I have a